Coming up next on our Creality Ferret 3D Scanner series, a quick video on how to make your own scanner spray in your shed at home. I'm Ben from www.getgoodgear.com.au, the home of news, reviews, and a handful of items that you can buy shipped to your door. So our subject for this series is going to be the Black Bear Gaunt 2 Mud Train Tire. It should be a great product to test the scanner on. It's got a lot of texture to it. Uh, you can see through here, we've got some high detailed tire cracks. We've got a beauty up here. This crack was so deep that this resulted in the whole lot of tires getting taken off the 80 series. So they're sitting in the shed and no better product really to be going through the scanner with. If you're new to the scanner world, you may not know the texture of what you're scanning can play a big role. There is a range of products to help you get the best scan possible and you can duck down to your local store and get scanner spray if they happen to be close to you. But now we're going to show you a way to do it with some stuff you've probably got in the shed or in the home anyway. And you can knock this up quickly to get the best spray. So to make this concoction you are going to need from your sock drawer some talcum baby powder and from your secret COVID stash that nobody was hoarding, uh, some isopropylene alcohol. So this formula is really simple and you don't need to get too tied down to it. You'll get the mix when you get a feel for it. So this magic formula is four parts to one. So we just tip out roughly a quarter of this little spray bottle. Like I said, we're not looking for super accurate here. We can eyeball this just fine. All right, so open up the old talcum. Little bit of a makeshift funnel here. We just top her up. Enough shenanigans. Get that bad boy out. Give her a shake. We're good to scan. All right, so hopefully you can see on the camera you've got the crack just here. Now there's a whole bunch of cracks on these tires, but this is the big one, so this is one we'll focus on. And uh, we'll do a scan of it first, and then I'll do another scan with the powder on it to show you the difference. So this here is the Creality Ferret 3D Scanner. Uh, this is a uh, First time that I've had a scanner and only the second time using it, so it's a little bit of a journey for you and me both. Uh, we'll do a first scan, uh, see how that comes up, and then we'll give it a spray. All right, so this is our first scan. Alrighty, so that is quickly rendered in the shed there. There is a tire. And there is our little crack in there. All right. So this is her there. Now we'll put the spray on and see if it makes a difference. model is completed. There she is, this is the colour version. And there's our detail that we're chasing. So I make both of these models available for download and you can have a look at them and see for yourself if a do-it-yourself scanner spray is the right thing for you. That's our first video on the Creality Ferret 3D scanner. I'll be doing a series of these videos over the next couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to finding out ways I can use the scanner in the shed at home, on the job, and anything else that strikes my fancy. It's important to know that this video is not sponsored by Creality. Please give it a like and a share and hit notifications if you want to see more about the 3D scanner and how you can use one in your shed at home.